Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a different kind of vibe today. The guys here at River Dark Country Park have invited me to check out the newly built Dartmoor Bike Park. Let's check it. Oi oi! One of the purpose built features they've got here is a pump track. We've done the pump track, the next thing we're going to do is the mini mountain bike adventure trail. So this is a green run trail for all the family. This is the reason why we've come here. For those of you that know, former professional BMX legend Kai Forte built a number of these trails. Follow me, let's go check it out. The cool thing is here, we've obviously got a calf, a seating area. I'd imagine weekends it gets pretty wild. Let's go onto the trail. What we've got here, we've got four varying trails. As you can see on the map, we've got a blue, red, orange, and a black run. Start off at the very basics. The good thing is with this place, whether you're a beginner all the way through to the pro, there's something for you. So the first thing we're going to check out is the blue run. The first part of this trail is blue and red. It shares the same features, they're all rollable, so whether you're an amateur all the way through to a professional, they're perfect because it means that you can control the bike and learn what the bike does. So you can see, even on the blue run, my missus who doesn't even ride a bike managed it, so I'm sure you guys can too. I can't. So this is probably the most challenging feature on this blue run. It's a little skinny, but as you can see, even if you fall off the side, it's not going to be the end of the world. Right, so that was the blue run. Here's a POV. So blue run to start off with then. Nice and chilled. As you can see, loads of little jumps. You can manual roller. So as we go around the corner, you can literally see we've got a couple of burns. So just good, good practice for any sort of rider. Nice and chilled. Then we've got the little North Shore. Manual that. And then there we go, into the finish, nice and chilled. Yo. Next thing we're gonna do is the red run. The start is exactly the same as the blue run. As I said, it then diverts off this drop. This is one of the key features of this red run to prove that you'll be able to do this run. It's probably what, a couple of feet. You can't really roll it, unfortunately. If you did roll it, there might be a chance of hitting your chain ring or pedal. So it's definitely one of those trails where you need to have the correct technique. The only other feature you've got to be wary of on this red trail is this double, once again, because you can't roll it. As you can see, there's a gap in the middle. The rest of the trail is all flowy, big tabletops. That was the red run. As you can see, there's a number of flowy tabletops. There's only two features you've got to worry for that aren't rollable, and that is the drop and then the small double. Here's a POV. So the red run is exactly the same start as the blue. Once again, we've got the rollers. The only difference is now, we're using the berm to go off the drop. Then we've got a little roller into a shark fin. Then we've got the little double. And these tabletops, you can see, don't need loads of speed. They're nice and chilled, there's no gaps. And there we go, into the finish. So we've done the blue and the red. As stated, the red, there's a couple of key features that you cannot roll. We're now going up the big boy steps to the black and the orange trail. Okay, let's do it. Start on the orange and the black. This is the first real feature on the orange and the black run. It's a jump on, jump off sort of thing. As you can see, you can't really get away of casing this or obviously rolling it so you do need to have some sort of jumping skills now the orange trail we're going to hit has got loads of tabletops so there's no gaps however they're just a tad bigger than the reds okay so that was the orange run here's a pov okay so we are on our way up the big boy steps so the first trail we're going to ride now is the orange one. So this is obviously one up from a red. So to start off with, 
couple of things you cannot get out of and that is the, the tabletop thing there let's go a bit of speed into these in relation to the other one last table and there we go this is where it gets interesting all the top half of the orange and black share exactly the same features until we get to here and as you can see pre-warning gap jumps ahead so we've got two big features here these are the biggest in the park we've got a little wooden bone log and then we go into a wooden kicker let's check them out this is the first big feature on this black run and that is a wooden bone log as you can see it's a feature you definitely cannot roll you need the jumping skills to get over and above it and this is almost a setup feature ready for the next kicker Okay, so I'm six foot one. I'd imagine this is a six foot kicker. As you can see, there's no get out of claws on this. Once you're on it, you're on it. But we've got a nice wood chip mulch landing, so it's ideal for learning tricks. As some of you well know with me, I'm not really a trick pony, but let's go check it. Very much like divots in a golf course. Always repair, the trail guys always love that. So you can see the gap, the gap is fairly reasonable, it's certainly not a gap that you want to case. Let's go, give it a POV. Oy oy. The beauty is with this, as you can see, there's only four tracks every time you come up back through the calf. So it's nice and convenient to get a drink. As you see, it's only four runs, but I'm sweating my marbles off because you can get so many runs here. The piece de la resistance if that's how you pronounce it. We're now on our way up to the black. So this is the big boy here. As you've seen on the previews, the jumps are fairly big. Here's a POV. So the start is exactly the same as the orange. So you've got these little rollers that you can jump. It's a little table. The cool thing is here, you honestly don't need that much speed. It's nice and chilled in the way that it's rollable. Going onto the step down. And there it is. That was the black run here at Devon Bike Park. Oi oi! That was the trails here at Dartmoor Bike Park. As you can see, we've got four varying trails for all different abilities. I came on my DMR sled enduro bike. If I'm honest, the hardtail will be absolutely fantastic here. You carry a bit more speed. You don't need to worry about pedaling or anything like that. Now it's time to see the calf get an ice cream. Yeah.